So hey everybody, I'm Ernie Hatmaker and this is water. This is a full jar of water, half full jar of water, and then not so full, maybe about that much. And the reason these water things are a different level, I'm going to grow sweet potato slips in different volumes of water and I'm going to try just regular dirt. Now this dirt is wet and the reason why I wet it is not so I could taste it. This fork was actually just to chop up the dirt a little bit, but um, it does kind of look fudgy. Mm. <laughs> Let's get to it. I've got some regular skewers, um, the sharp on one end and then the other end is blunt. I only need one end to be sharp to stab the sweet potato. That one definitely looks like a, a keeper though, huh? Because you can tell where the, uh, the roots are because it's important to point it where the roots are going to come down to make it easy for your sweet potato to root in the water. That's what's important. And what I need the skewers for is to hold the sweet potatoes up. And since this one's got the uh, the longer ones, I'm just going to kind of put this one in the taller one because it's already got long roots. Does that make sense? And then we'll try to get like one of these really long ones and put it in the one that has the small amount of water because we're trying to use fewer resources and get more out, right? Now why is it? It just broke off a root. I tried it this way and it worked. I tried it with the blunt end and it went right through. So anyway, like I was saying, drop it in there about halfway and that skewers pretty much to make sure it doesn't fall all the way in. <laughs> Otherwise that would be pointless, right? And the rest of these I'm just going to eat. So I'm going to, after I drop them, I'm going to do a, what do you call it, a time lapse. Kind of let you see where we are in the process so you can follow along with your own sweet potato so here we are exactly one week later exactly to the day seven days later and there are some differences in the sweet potatoes there's no slips yet but they are starting to get some eyes where there weren't eyes before and they are definitely rooting take a look at this one this is the one that i didn't quite put in water and it had a couple roots that were brown already and those are actually got those have gotten quite long but there are no white ones in it, even though there there are some uh, starts. You can see um, that's the one that's halfway submerged with nothing holding it out of the water. These are the ones with the skewers. This one just barely a little footsie in it, and it's got a little I don't know hair or something up at the top right here coming out, and the eyes are starting to get little buds on them. But yeah, it's got quite a bit of new root growing there, and then this one was pretty much you know all the way full and this is also halfway submerged and it already had a few roots in it they've gotten way long and it's got some new white root in it okay so here we are this makes two weeks with the sweet potatoes and this is the one that was filled up all the way this is the one that was filled up almost all the way and this is the one that was filled up halfway but close this one these are about i don't know maybe two inches or so the, the, the longest one is about two inches, but yeah, there's a bunch of them coming off of that one. This one is just now starting to, and you see the little split that we made is kind of healed. But uh, yeah, this one's taking the longest, probably because it's not really in a whole lot of water, but look how much root it's got. See all that root? And this one, of course, just everywhere. Um, this one had that long pink root. Yeah, the pink roots are the ones that were already there. The white ones are the ones that have grown since they've been in water. And you can see this one is just now really getting some extra white root in it. This is 20 days. So yeah, day number 20, this one has some really nice leafy protrusions on it. And the roots are just all over the place down there. And then this one, it's actually a little dusty on top. <laughs> but yeah, it's got little nubs. They'll probably be leaves in a, in a little bit. And it too has a lot of good root. Now the pink ones, keep in mind, are the roots that were already there. This one has leaves growing on it now. Little leaf nubs coming out all over the place. And it actually has the worst root system, but there's um, some white ones in there. It's got one long pink one that I left on, but yeah, it's got some white ones now. So 